This program is rated PG. It contains themes and scenes which may not be suitable for very young audiences. Parental guidance is advised. Be advised that the views and opinions of the hosts and guests do not reflect those of the station. Philippines, good evening. Taimbag na rabi. Masan po siya sa labin si kayo amin. Maya pa bengi keka. Marahay na banggi sa inyong gabos. Maupay nga gabi ha iyong tanan na dida. Mayad mayad nga gabi. Buenas noches. Bismillah rahmanir rahim. As walang malay kung murak matuloy talang barakato. Ako po si Eric Espina. At ito po ang inyong nag-iisang republika. Our guest for tonight wrote a very interesting question. Uh, I might use the word thesis in his column in Manila Bulletin, where I also write. Uh, it is about uh, the language of leadership. Uh, this comes from a veteran voice, not only in politics, uh, having been a former congressman, senator. On top of that, he is very much aware of the wisdom and the power of language, being, having been in radio and for decades and decades on television. We are going to pick into his thoughts, uh, get some advice, let wisdom fall upon our shoulders, and on top of that, later on, we will also talk about uh, senior citizens and uh, his pet project, Baharlika. We have none other than former Senator Eddie Ilade. Good evening, sir. Good evening, Eric. Uh, Muli, uh, thank you very much. It's an honor to be with you again, Eric. Yes, yes. The last time I was here was, what, two years ago? Yes. And uh, we always listen to you. Uh -huh. And uh, I'd like to let you know that uh -huh. uh, when I guested here, uh -huh. uh, I got uh, several messages mm -hmm. in my antique cell phone mm -hmm. uh, coming from Australia and mm -hmm. California. Hindi ko suko takalain, maraming nanunood sa GNN sa abroad by way of I think live streaming. Live streaming. Yes. And uh, thank you for inviting me here. Uh -huh. Tonight again, uh -huh. I thought uh, I'll never be invited again, uh -huh. and I had to clear this up first with yes. some with some people. You know yeah. what I mean? Yes, no? yes. So, maganda ng bibo sa yung lahat, mga kaibigan. Isa pong kasiyahan at karangalan na makasama si Eric Espina. Nung araw sa Senado kasama ko ang kanyang butihing ama at Eric Espina was known to be the son of Senator Rene Espina. Now, Rene Espina is known as the father of Eric Espina. Thank you, Eric. <laughs> Thank you very much, Pero. <laughs> well, marami po salamat. I'm humbled by your, by, by your words, uh, especially since uh, your voice yeah, uh, is the kind of voice that we need today. <laughs> the voice of wisdom, the voice of experience. <laughs> but, uh, sige po. You, you, you wrote something very interesting sa Manila Bulletin. And uh, this had... A, this was the dichotomy of all sort of language from various leaders. Mm -hmm. what, what initiated <laughs> this, this writing? Well, you know, uh, uh, President Duterte is one of a kind uh, president. Okay. Sinabi ko nga dun sa sinulat ko, Eric, mm -hmm. he, he, here is one leader of mm -hmm. a country mm -hmm. who says in victims and uh, mm -hmm. nagmumura mm -hmm. at pinapalakpakan. Mm -hmm. Mura ng mura, mm -hmm. tawa na ng tao. Mm -hmm. Meaning to say, sa atin, sa showbiz, kwelang-kwela. Mm -hmm. Now, where in the world can you find one like that? And mm -hmm. uh, before, when we were new on radio and TV, mm -hmm. Bobby Ledesma nearly got yes. fired for saying kilikili. <laughs> no? Okay. Why, 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 why kilikili? What was so bad about kilikili at the time? I don't know. Uh, 
uh, we Filipinos have penchant for for not using our own sapagat masagwa. Okay. If you say armpit, it's all right. Yes. If you say kilikili, mukhang makakagulat. If oh. you say puit, oh, it sounds uh, so, ma yeah. magugulat. Yeah. But if you say it, but, uh, oh. well, here is a uh, president who says that. And you say uh, languages of oh. leadership. No? Yes, yes. Let's remember that even the Judeo Christian scripture says yes, that. Yes. And the first was the word. In the beginning was the word. Yes. Word is very important. Yes. And, uh, and the word was God. Yes, no? yes, and, yes. Uh, that's it. Uh, let's just say it what it is. Mm -hmm. Although, perhaps, to be more refined, mm -hmm. we should say it in. Uh, we should refine it in such a manner uh -huh. as not many people will be astounded, will be, yes. will be uh, uh, surprised uh -huh. to hear a leader speak like that. Uh -huh. But uh, Russian President, uh, what's his name? Vladimir then? Putin. No, the other one. Uh, Was it Gorbachev? Was it... Uh, uh, before Gorbachev. Uh, oh, anyway, uh, yeah. he, he, he was a friend of Johnny Walker. Okay. And uh, like Arab. Yeltsin. And, uh, You're talking about Boris Yeltsin. Yeah. yeah. And uh, and uh, Richard Nixon. Mm -hmm. And they they all they all say the F word. They all uh -huh. say the the words that of course yeah. different naman na president natin. So yes. uh, he says it what it is. No? Yes, yes. And uh, a lot of people don't like it, but uh, many people, the common people, like it because wala nang masyadong pasikot sikut pa. Wala nang wala nang pa utut uh -huh. Okay. No? I, is this generational? Is it economic in the sense that uh, there is a certain median in our public, in our Philippine society that looks at it and accepts it? Uh, and of course, culture plays a very important role here. Or is it generational because it would be probably unheard of before? Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. Would it be fair to say that? Because in Plaza Miranda, of course, <laughs> it's a different thing, no? Yes. Bomba, yes. no? The, the, the no, word bomba was no, very... No. So, what is it? Generational? Or is it because of our nature as Filipinos? We are very, you know, demure in our words when, when in public? Or what could it you, be? You, you said it right, generational. Mm -hmm. we, we had uh, leaders who, who say it the way the common person will say. The, mm -hmm. For example, the late uh, Mayor Arsenio Luxon. Mm -hmm. Uh, kung magmura yun, mm -hmm. uh, masin sa tribuna, ganon, no? And, uh, malutong, malutong mag... Uh, malutong. Okay. And uh, alam po ninyo, pag, pag sinabi mong sa lingwahe uh -huh. na naunawaan at ginagamit ng ating sariling common man, uh -huh. they like it. Uh -huh. hindi, na, hindi na tayo uh, maghahanap pa. We are not going to look for the to the kinder word, or uh -huh. I don't know how you'll say it uh -huh. in your column, uh -huh. but, uh -huh. but uh, that's how it is. Uh -huh. Generational. It's generational. Say. Ibang generation nila ngayon, uh -huh. ibang generation namin noon. Uh -huh. And uh, I don't know what will be the resultant effect of this, whether pwede nang payagang magmura on television or not. But, but the thing is, we have proven that uh, by just being common, it works. You, it, it works, and you can be understood. And, uh, During the generation of my father, your generation, sa tribuna pwede magmura. That's acceptable. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, yan. Okay lang yun. Uh, uh, but in, on television, iba. How is it? Well, uh, it's very hard to answer that, uh, Eric. But, you know, when you talk of television, you talk of something high standard, no? Okay. As a matter of fact, before, ang sabi ng mga tao sa akin, Kuya Eddie, sorry, hindi kami makapanood sa iyo sa TV. Okay. Nakipanood lang kami. Wala okay. kami TV, radio lang. Yes, yes. Ngayon, it's the other way around. Uh -huh. Kuya Eddie, sayang. Hindi kami nakakapakinig sa kahapon lamang. Wala kami radio. Okay. Puro kami TV lang. Uh -huh. And then when you watch TV, you have PPP. Okay. You have Pusod, Puson, and Puit. <laughs> Okay. And, uh, generational. It's, okay. it's accepted and they like it and they say that uh, it rates. Mm -hmm. As a matter of fact, uh, Republic of Seniors, when, when I present a proposal that let's have a program for senior citizens, Kuyedi, mahirap at pagbili. Walang nanonood sa senior citizens. 
And that's, that, that's not true because we are 13 million and yeah. counting. Yes. And when I put uh, uh, Republic of Seniors four times, uh -huh. four times long, uh -huh. I, had many, I had many viewers. Uh -huh. And right now, the senior citizens are so eager to have me and Senator Rene Espina uh -huh. together, perhaps in tandem, at magaroon kami ng Republic of Seniors muli. Maybe here in GNN. <laughs> Kasapin natin si Freddy Abando. Okay. <laughs> Senator, ito po. Uh, siguro natatandaan nyo, there was, when it is political assassination in the sense of words, invectives against your opponent, noon it was very acceptable. I remember, I will not mention who this referred to, but there was a, a senator before who said, uh, si, well, si Pelay, Senator Pelay, si Manuel Pelay, who said, Falsific falsificador, estafador, matador. <laughs> Yung mga ganong klase, it was oh. politically acceptable because it was against a political opponent. Okay. Today's generation, it, it, it has the undertones of gender and sex, and it's yeah. acceptable, no? Yeah, well, <laughs> uh, uh, it depends upon, uh, you know, it reminds me again when we were new on television, kami ni Bobby Lides. Why is it funny that when you joke about uh, my risque. Uh, risque, it, risque. Risque. Uh, Pag ikaw, ayos. Uh, Kung ako, napupunan nila. Sab sabi ko, ilonggo ka kasi. Uh -huh. parang, parang It's acceptable. Ang presentation, hindi, ano, hindi <laughs> maganda. Uh -huh. uh, like, uh, when I joke about, uh, uh, kako, dalawang senior, uh -huh. nag-uusap, comparing notes about their wives. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Sabi nung isa, uh, are, uh, ako, I have no complaint about my wife. My uh -huh. wife is an angel. Uh -huh. Sabi nung kausap niya, you're lucky. Mm -hmm. Mine is still alive. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Senior joke. Mukhang that's acceptable. That's a very... Uh, I hope so. I hope you don't get uh, no, 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 booted no, out on the no, air no, that, that's a very good by joke. President Duterte. No, no, that's a very good joke because it's uh, suave. Ika nga, suave. Oh, suave, uh, suave. Suave, suave. suave. Intellectual, very... <laughs> no, oh, so, to, today's culture, is it more, how would they call it, more affront? And then uh, the term in showbiz, I think, is most apropos for maybe the politics yeah, that we have to, today, which is, the, naghahanap ang mga tao ng mga poli politiko na nagpapakatotoo. I'm, I'm using yeah. a very showbiz term, nagpapakatotoo, yeah. irregardless of what they are, as long as nagpapakatotoo, would it be fair for me to say, if you notice it, everybody embraces this individual. I mean, dirty linen and all <laughs> yeah, <laughs> being yeah. brandished. Oh, oh. Ganun, sa tingin nyo, ganun ang, that, that's where we're going? Uh, well, I don't know, Eric. Uh, I hope it will not go to, to a point where it's going to be malaswa already, no? Mm -hmm. Uh, sa una lang, pag inulit-ulit siguro, hindi na maganda. No? Mm -hmm. But uh, you have to find ways and means to make it refined a mm -hmm. little bit mm -hmm. so that uh, people will not get shocked. Mm -hmm. uh, so uh, we, don't, we don't know what, what's going to happen. Okay. But <laughs> I know for a fact that Eric Espina, <laughs> when he is on the air with Republica, uh -huh. marami nanonood sa'yo, Eric. Salamat and, uh, po. I'm one of them. And, uh, uh, thank you for inviting me. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> uh, uh, we're going to leave a hanging question. Uh, is the language under this administration uh, a novelty? Uh, and people have embraced uh, the iconic nature of uh, President Rodrigo Duterte. And that's why his ratings continue to be very high. And that's the reason why he won with a great majority. Uh, it's, the new, it's the new tuck. It's the new punchline for this generation. We're going to ask Senator Ilard this when we return.